Hello, uh, today we're going to talk about some awesome features in Adobe Illustrator, which are the image trace and live paint bucket. What, how I'm going to show you today is going to be on some coloring book pages. To start off, I'm going to show you this coloring book page of Superman that I found on the internet. And when it's all said and done, I'll show you how to effectively trace and color it in Illustrator. Alright, to start off, once you have the coloring book page downloaded, you're going to open it with Adobe Illustrator. It pulls up, and the first thing you're going to want to do is, you notice the artboard is smaller than the image, so you're going to go to the artboard tool and adjust the size of the artboard to fit the image all in. Then, you select the image and we're going to do the live the image trace first so you go object image trace make now you notice the graphic changed a little bit it gives you a little bit of a preview before you do it well what you're going to do is go to the image trace panel click on that and uh, this opens right here the image trace now I'm going to increase my threshold. You, now you notice some lines or um, there's openings and gaps. You don't want that when you do the uh, live paint bucket tool. So I'm going to increase my threshold to about 230 for this one. Different images may vary. Now that looks like it might be too much, but I'm going to reduce the noise all the way down to one pixel and increase my paths and corners sometimes you want to add strokes and lower the stroke to like one pixel it adds more details now sometimes it helps sometimes it doesn't um, I'm gonna lower my threshold it kinda cleans it up a little bit now once I have it looking the way I want it I just click the expand button now as you see all the anchor point it detects all the lines from the illustration and creates all the anchor points and curves and that's it using the live trace it's officially transferred from a raster graphic with pixels to a vector graphic with uh, anchor points and coordinates now you can increase and decrease this image size and it never loses quality now you can click off of it to deselect it. To, to do the live paint bucket tool you select the image and then you either press K or you go on to your toolbar and choose the select live paint bucket. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to have some colors that you know you're going to use. So you're going to go to your swatches palette and then click at the top right open swatch library now you might go to coloring books and choose there's different libraries of colors now this one seems to cover quite a bit now I'm also gonna go and open up the skin tones swatches you just choose the right tone for the face now I can't see very well with the dot so I'm going to hold down command click away there you go and then you just select the area that you want to paint make his hair a little bit of a brown tint inside now the cape we, we know that's typically a red so just select the areas and make it red. Same with the S. Um, yellow for inside the S.
see I missed a red there. Um, go back, make the yellow. belts yellow. You can make the boots yellow or red. But that's it. Um, if you want to get more three-dimensional, like I did on the uh, first example I showed you, you could go to the gradient panel. Click on that. And let's say I want a gradient of the cape. So I'm going to slide that red, put it over the, the black. And now it gives it a, a more of a three-dimensional, looks like light reflecting. You can adjust these panels with more, add more colors, take the white out, make it darker. Be as creative as you want to be with it. But that's how you use the image trace and live paint bucket tool in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, when it's all said and done, that's what it looks like when it's finished.